What is up guys? It is Only Pim here bringing you yet again another YouTube video on my channel today Hope you guys really do enjoy if you do make sure you hit the like on the video comment your thoughts down in the description below today's video is on the Razorback I've officially got every single submachine gun gold which means I have got it diamond and I'm one step closer to the dark matter camo. So first of all, I've got like the Cuda diamond. I think this one is probably one of the most underrated submachine guns in the game because actually it really does shred a ton. I'm just going to go through over the submachine guns and how I thought they were with the headshots and how I thought how I thought it was to complete them to get them done, which one was the quickest, which one wasn't. So the Cuda was pretty easy because it shredded absolutely a ton the vmp was obviously really easy apart from the recoil sometimes but if you just put elo sight on it's really easy as well the weevil one of my favorite guns so that wasn't difficult whatsoever i pretty much did that already the vespa was difficult very very difficult because of the extreme fire rate on the gun and not a lot of damage so obviously when you're shooting people from longer range with obviously the other submachine guns, you could probably do it across the map, but with this one, it all had to be up close range and personal, so that one was probably one of the most difficult ones to do. Then the Pharaoh was quite easy, because obviously it's a three burst gun. You three burst them to the head, hopefully it kills them. If not, you just do another round. Obviously you hold the trigger down, does it pretty quickly. And to be honest, the Razorback was probably one of my most difficult ones. I know this is a Razorback video, but this is the only submachine gun I had to go on hardcore for because literally wouldn't kill anyone in core. It was terrible. I lit this is the reason why this gameplay is hardcore gameplay because some guns you do have to do in hardcore because it is literally impossible to get any headshots at all in core. So the Razorback was definitely the one I had to do in hardcore, which was wasn't the most fun but i suppose i had to deal with it just to grind out to get the submachine guns gold so i could have them all diamond i was thinking about doing a gameplay with it to demonstrate the diamond on all the submachine guns like have like a, a life or something with every machine gun but i thought I best off just commentate over the gameplay, see how you guys like it that way. If you guys want me to demonstrate all the diamond guns in a diamond video, then feel free to comment your thoughts down in the description below and tell me whether you think I should do that or not. Um, not really too sure, but I've got to smash out a prestige video. I've, I've nearly prestige twice, or I have prestige twice since I last was on the game, was on YouTube and uh, posted it. So which was probably about three or four days ago. So obviously the double weapon XP has been since then. That's pretty much it for the submachine guns. The next guns I started was the shotguns and I've actually got them diamond as well. So you'll be looking at a shotgun diamond video within the next day or two also. As well, I've done the knife. The knife was pretty um, hard to do as well, but that will be in another video. So, guys, if you like this video today, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Comment your thoughts of the video down below. I take video suggestions, so if anyone wants to post a video suggestion down in the description, I feel free. I'll make the video. Also, if you guys really do like the MLG gameplays that I've been posting on my channel, make sure you go to that and rate it really big so I know you guys enjoy that stuff. The next videos I'll be putting out will be the Sniper Rifle. So if you guys enjoy, make sure you show your support on the channel. Subscribe for more Call of Duty videos. And this has been Only Pim. I'm out. Points.